say a fire in Fargo last night all started with a woman armed with a taser. Officials say 26-year-old Rebecca Lou Kalana was arrested in connection with the fire as well as a burglary across the street. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz was in the neighborhood to piece together all the details. Eric Lacey woke up to his fire alarm, but his door was too hot for him to leave. The smoke was so bad I was coughing. I breathed in a lot of smoke and stuff. Officials say they responded to a fire here on 14th Street South Tuesday night after 1030. She probably was inebriated. And Stephen Orn lives in the basement and says he's friends with 26-year-old Rebecca Kalana, who was arrested that night. She was drunk as a skunk. The last text I got was, I'm going to smoke one more cigarette. She'd gone down into the storage room and broken it and grabbed a, I guess it was a computer monitor, an electric blanket, some other things, and started the fire right outside this guy's door. The neighbors across the street asked us not to show their home, but they say shortly after the fire started, they woke up to the sound of a taser and a flashlight in their eyes. Next, we glanced over and there was a lady standing in the door. Surveillance footage shows the woman heading toward the flashing lights of police and fire trucks. It appears she was looking to hide out. The only thing we could figure out she was doing was she uh, got into the basement, took a couple beers, was drinking down there and then smoking cigarettes. Aaron Fatland and his girlfriend called 911 while asking Kalana to leave all while she crackled her taser at them. We were both terrified. I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see a dang thing. Fatlin chased her out the door, where officials were able to apprehend her. I shouldn't call her crazy, but you gotta be crazy to start a fire when there's kids and stuff in an apartment complex. As for Lacey on the third floor, his door was too hot for him to leave. But thanks to Fargo Fire. They came up and all I could see was his um, legs. They helped guide me out the door and they told me to stay down low on the floor. And they, they really helped save my life. Authorities don't have much to add at this time as it's still under investigation. But the fire department tells us the woman made it clear to them that she had a taser by activating it in their presence. In Fargo, Rose Iskowitz, Valley News Live. Eric Lacey, who lives on the third floor of the apartment building, says he's not sure how long he'll be displaced. Meanwhile, the couple across the street says nothing was taken from them aside from a couple beers.